Hello. As you know, not everything you see on the internet is true. Photos and videos can be manipulated, and the techniques for doing so are getting more and more sophisticated. In Truth or Fake, we're going to show you how to investigate the images you see online. In December 2017, protests broke out in Iran over the country's economic situation. The authorities started censoring social media. That made it difficult for Iranians to share images, but a few photos did go viral nevertheless. Among them, this one, a woman karate-kicking police officers. Now, lots of people shared the image, including some journalists. But was it real? Well, there's an easy way to check. Put an app on your phone to carry out a reverse image search. You upload the image, then the app checks to see if it's been published anywhere online before. Here you can see that the image, in fact, comes from a film, The Golden Colors, that was released in 2012. It turns out the photo was taken when the film was being shot in the Iranian capital, Tehran. But your best ally is simply good sense. Let's stay with the protests in Iran. This video was presented as showing a pro-democracy march and retweeted more than 18,000 times. Okay, but let's look closer. First, notice the flag. They're red and white. But Iran's flag looks like this. The red and white flag is actually the flag of Bahrain. And there's also a clue in the sound. The protesters aren't speaking Persian, that's Arabic. So it turns out the video was filmed in Bahrain, not Iran, and it dates back to 2011. This video was shared by Mexican internet users following major riots over a rise in gas prices. It supposedly proved that the army was taking back control of the streets. Here, the video's sound doesn't give us any clues. But look at the tanks. If you were an expert, you'd recognize that this is a leopard tank, and the Mexican army doesn't have any of those. But if you know nothing about tanks, there's a tool that can help you, called Invid. There are three steps. Number one, copy the URL of the tweet in which the video appears. Step two, paste it under keyframe. The tool breaks the video down into a series of screen grabs. Step three, click to see where the video has been published before. Well, that takes us to an article by the French newspaper Libération, and there is the video. It turns out these tanks aren't Mexican, they're Turkish. They were filmed in Ankara in July 2016 during an attempted coup. To spot false news, bear in mind that the more sensational the story is, the more you should be on your guard. That's because clicks often generate money. For example, many internet users fell for this video supposedly showing a werewolf. The rumor of this discovery spread widely in Southeast Asia. But a quick search shows that it's actually a figurine made by an Italian artist. And how about this one from Sweden? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the f Hey, sorry, man. <laughs> Too good to be true? Yes, the video was made by a digital advertising agency that specializes in creating buzz. Oh, so yeah, la Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, What the f what you oh, hey. Get the shit out of Sorry. And it worked. They got a lot of free publicity. When you're looking for real news, checking the source is vital, and checking that the source is indeed what it seems to be. Now take a look at this. It appears to be the front page of Belgium's Le Soir newspaper. This article, published a few weeks before France's presidential election, claims that Saudi Arabia financed a third of Emmanuel Macron's campaign. However, this is totally false, but it takes a sharp eye to see why. Take a look at the URL. Now compare it to the real URL of Le Soir's homepage. See the difference? The fake URL is le soir.info, 
while the real site's URL is lesoir.be, where BE stands for Belgium. And check this out. The fake site even linked back to the real site, just to make things more confusing. This hoax fooled lots of people, including several politicians. One thing this shows is how far over they go here. Look, look how far this is. This goes all the way down here, all the way down. Nobody sees that. You don't see that in the pictures. But when you look at this tremendous sea of love, I call it a sea of love, it's really something special. This report has the logo of the American channel ABC News, so it should be legit, right? You see President Trump looking at a photo of Mecca, his enthusiasm a bit surprising given his ban on travel from several Muslim countries. So let's go to the source, ABC News' own website, and find the exact moment. But when you look at this tremendous sea of love, I call it a sea of love, it's really something special. Trump isn't talking about Mecca, he's talking about his own inauguration ceremony. Over they go here. YouTube users simply edited the video to change the image that he's looking at, and the result was pretty convincing. You don't see that in the pictures. But when you look at this tremendous sea of love, I call it a sea of love. But what was supposed to be a joke didn't stop there. The video showing Mecca was relayed by an imam in Mali. He commented on it in his language, Bambara. Let's listen. <laughs> So this video was manipulated not once, but twice, and it makes the U.S. president say something that he never actually said. That's it for this edition of Truth or Fake. To learn more about how you can spot fake images, please visit the France 24 Observer's website.